What's up guys, Graham here. Playing on my rogue marksman in Port Sion. Which you guys know I hate this warfront man. Hate it so bad. But let's try to kill some people. How can we go wrong when we got somebody named Radagast on our team? It's one of the most powerful wizards of all time. Uh, it's so hard to break through these guys whenever they first charge in because they've had they have all their healers and oh, maybe not. This may be different. Man, I hate these NPCs, man. They're all over the place. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Yes, yes. It's going to run away? No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. <laughs> you just thought you were running away. But you didn't realize Grim was over here, and he is not going to let you run away. Go ahead and silence that guy. Very nice, very nice. Get back up there so other people can hit you too. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have had other people hit them. They took the killing blow. So not kosher. So not kosher. Alright. We've uh, basically mauled these people down to where now they're playing turtle. They're hanging out at the far end of the bridge and this is usually where they go whenever they're thinking, man, this sucks. So, but they've got plenty of healers it seems, it's just, we've kind of torn through them. Seems like every person I'm hitting is a healer, let's mark them. So there's mad cross heals going on over there. There we go, we got some other people marking now too. I thought I was the only one marking all those healers. But yeah, we're uh, getting close to 500 subscribers, guys. Our YouTube channel is almost at 500 subscribers. And I didn't really even start taking this channel very seriously until about, I don't know, three months ago or so. So I don't really count the time that I've been, man, stinking green crap. But, oh, somebody ran in here, didn't they? Yeah. Hello, you. How's it going? Oh. He's a pyro. Man, I'm not letting him just beat up on me. He, he's got NPCs on him. Let's, let's not mess with that, but... Oh, the NPCs are beating him down. Let's go in there and finish him off. But I can't sit there and take pyro damage, man. Oh, there's somebody else in here hitting him, too. Okay, that's how he got low. I definitely wouldn't go mess with him by myself. But yeah, we, uh, this channel, I didn't really take it too seriously until about three months ago or so. And that's whenever I decided to not live stream as much and focus on the videos because I don't only put out a few videos and I was pretty impressed at how well they did. So I went ahead and 
kind of decided to quit live streaming because live streaming thing it was it was really fun and stuff but it was also one of those things that hardly anybody watches live streamers on rift other games they watch tons and tons of people i mean like uh it could be any game. Dark Souls, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone. I mean, tons of games. People are watching lots of it. But nobody's watching live streams of uh, Rift. And I don't know, man. I There has been kind of... Uh, you hear a lot of people always talking about how Tron kind of favors, uh, you know, one or two guilds whenever they're doing their content, and they always check with those people and stuff like that. You know, you always hear stuff like that. But, oh, you're not going to get away from me. What are you thinking? Oh, you're trying to kill our stone runners. Well, I'll tell you now, that ain't happening, buddy. But you always hear that, and really I didn't pay too much attention to it, but, um, and you always heard that a few people got favored and stuff like that, and it was always PvE stuff, and the PvPers have always been real upset about it. The PvPers are always like, man, you guys have got to focus on us a little more, uh, quit focusing on PvE, and quit focusing on, uh, the people that do PvE, you know, I mean, yeah, that might be where a majority of your money goes, well, it comes from, but, you know, PvPers are part of this audience, too. They want focused on as well. Well, uh, it always seemed like Tryon really did focus a little bit on uh, PvPers. Maybe not as much as PvE, but... You know, we did get some focus. We, I mean, we recently got a new conquest. We got, um, let's kill this guy. All right. Uh, we consistently get new armors and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, the changes that they did with conquest with the chests and everything like that. I mean, it's a lot of cool stuff. And,. So I've never really been too uh, jaded on all that, you know, the, where people say they focus on one thing or another. But I kind of felt it recently. I kind of felt it. Because uh, I was watching one of the live streams and they were actually finally doing a PvP live stream. Well, they had a developer on there that he was playing in PvP, and, but he was just chain dying. I mean, it was obvious he didn't know how to PvP. Uh, he did. He he was playing a class that they've already nerfed hardcore, which was Tempest. And you know, it it was like it was almost like a slap in the face because they it was obvious they didn't know what they were doing. And, you know, I was like, man, no, no, please don't be like this, guys, please. You know, get somebody on here that's actually trying to kill a player or two, you know, what, rather than chain die. Well, then, as the live stream went on a little bit, they started promoting PvE YouTubers on the PvP stream. I mean, this was the stream that they were talking about PvP. They started promoting PvE live uh, YouTubers and stuff like that. So I was like, wow, you know, promote somebody like Noobzilla or Viral or any of the PvP guys on here. You know, even if you had to go with like uh, Schwarzenegger or something like that, you know, just somebody that's doing pvp you know promote those guys you know during a pvp stream don't promote the pve guys there's you i mean nine out of ten times you're going to be doing pve live streams anyway so why not promote those PVEers in those live streams the one pvp live stream that you do promote somebody that does pvp you know, or invite somebody that is a PvPer to 
help you out in you know if you're not that great of a PvP or something. You know, kind of it kind of jaded me for the first time, for the first time, you know, and, and all of a sudden it became. You know, it all rushed into my mind where all the PvPers were saying that they they focus too much. Uh, Trion focuses too much on PvEers and stuff, and I never really agreed with that. You know, I mean, I know that they focus more on it because that's where more money comes from. But so you got to in business sense, you know. But man. I recently got jaded for the first time about it. It was a weird feeling because I never felt that way about Tryon before. You know, I always consider them a really good company and really does their best and I've always been a big fan of Tryon so I never usually get jaded like that. But that was the first time I was just like, really? You're promoting PVE? youtubers whenever you're doing a pvp stream and i know you're going to be promoting the pve guilds and pvp uh, pve youtubers and stuff like that during the all the other live streams so come on i guess it affected me for the first time to where i felt like uh you know, PVPers wasn't getting their due, as in uh, the YouTube stuff. You know, they took the opportunity to promote somebody, and they did a PVE -er instead of a PVP -er during a PVP live stream. But there's there's a few really good uh, PVP. Uh, YouTubers, if you guys haven't checked it out, go check out Noobzilla. I'll put a link on the screen or in the description below. Check out Noobzilla. He's a warrior. He's a uh, he's kind of a uh, a pure damage warrior, as in he just he runs in and does as much damage as he can and tries to knock down as many people as he can. So you know he generally gets really high kills. Uh, good guy. I've played with him. I've talked with him. He's he's a good guy. Um, another good one is Space Boots. Space Boots is real jaded about trying, real jaded. And uh, but he's he's a skilled warrior, which I really enjoy. I like playing uh, skilled uh, gameplay. I like to have several buttons and really control my bursts and stuff like that well space boots is really good at that stuff so he's really enjoyable to watch if you want to watch really skilled warrior gameplay in pvp but you definitely have to put up with him talking bad about daglar and try on and everything because he's real jaded about the game but i i really enjoy his videos uh another one is viral yeah, viral is uh, is a cool guy. He's uh, helped me out with my marksman spec whenever I was first making it, and uh, I've promoted him before on my channel. And he's a good guy. He's uh, he's a rogue player. So if you want to watch uh, rogue gameplay, uh, he does a lot of it. Which. He, he mainly plays marksman just like me but he does know how to play uh, the Nightblade specs and all that that are kind of popular right now so and he's also got a really good uh, rogue rune guide like I did the warrior rune guide well he's got one for the rogue which is the reason why I haven't made a rogue rune guide is because he's already got one and it's really good It'd be different if his was outdated or something, but his is really good. Go check it out, guys. Uh, might put a link in the description below or something. Boy, this is a long war front, man. <laughs> but, yeah, there's some good guys to watch. I really wish they would have promoted one of those guys.
So if anybody from Tryon watches this, if they bother to watch the PvPers, promote the PvPers, man. Show some love to somebody like Space Boots, and he might not be as jaded about you guys. Um, give some credit to Viral. He's a good rogue. He really promotes your game. And, uh, you know, some of the others. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, somebody that I've really recently been watching is Medusa, which... Uh, he or she plays a female character, but man, you never know. Uh, I'll just refer to him as a he. It's probably a guy playing that female character, so. Uh, but I could be wrong. But he plays a Pyromage, which is pretty cool. All of his videos are pretty much in the format of like a music video where it's music and just highlights of him killing people and stuff so that's kind of entertaining uh, I wish he'd do a pyro guide so I knew how to play pyro better But another video that I want to do is uh, a chloromancer build guide if any of you guys are very good chloromancers as in PvP, not PvE. I don't care about PvE right now, guys. Uh, if there's some good PvE, uh, PvP Chloromancers that could give me some insight, I play a Chloromancer mage in Conquest quite a bit. And I heal up people, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it totally right. I don't know if I'm optimizing this build. Now I'd like somebody to uh, see my macros and stuff like that and say, hey, you know, that's the right or wrong way to do it. And correct me, that way I can make a good guide and really, you know, know what I'm talking about and make sure that it's right. Because some of you guys play these builds a lot. Like there's somebody that will play Chloromancer all the time and really has a bit more insight into it than I do and I would like to learn it that way I can make a video for everybody to see for all of you guys to learn from some of the best players that play the builds because that's what I do in in my build videos and stuff I usually get these builds and advice from people that are really good at the class because I'm kind of a jack-of-all-trades uh, I play all four classes and a bunch of specs so mastering all of them and coming up with my own builds and all that stuff it just isn't going to happen so what I prefer to do is find good players that play specific specs and really know all the skills and know how the macros work and try to learn off of them let's go ahead and get some quests here so that the guides that you watch from me are basically my translation from some of the best players that play those specs that's the way I try to do it but sometimes you know I just kind of wing it as best as I can and play it a bunch and test it out so I can give you guys my own uh, I guess take on each spec sometimes because you know I'm just not finding real good players that play this stuff now there's a lot of people that think they are good at a at a spec or something but in reality they just got macros off of somebody else and they're not they don't know what each particular skill does or you know the cooldowns and all that and you know it's it's not real good to learn off of those people because they're just basically saying hey this works use this but yet they didn't look over all the build themselves and there's a lot of people down there they didn't look over the build themselves and uh, know what to change if anything needed to be changed or if something could have been a little bit better Oh, I can't believe I just killed him right in the middle of that whole group. 
There's so many healers down there and I just I just knocked out one of their guys like that. Well, it's easier to kill them if they come up here. Because they're line of sight and they're healers. Yeah, come forward up here, guys. It's cool. Trust me, you won't die. You won't die. Uh, so you gonna get healed? So you gonna get healed? Uh, I'm the one dying chasing him. <laughs> I gotta get out of there. I almost killed myself trying to kill him. I got bloodthirsty. <sighs> but yeah, if anybody runs a good Chloromancer build, please let me teach me your ways. You know, uh, provide your in-game name or something like that so I can friend you and ask you a lot of questions. And uh, Because I'd like to make a Chloromancer build, both for Warfronts and then another Chloromancer build or something for Conquest. So... Because right now I'm running a Conquest Chloromancer build and I'm not sure if I'm playing it the best it can be played. I might be, but I'm not sure. Well, that's Warfront, guys. Hope you enjoyed and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. 26 no.